Today's Luxury Gives Back segment takes us to South Dakota to a program called Remember. Remember is located within the Pine Ridge American Indian Reservation and is a week-long program centered around educating people on the plight of the Lakota Indians. Pine Ridge is the most in-need reservation and desperately needs our help. After a few days of learning about the tribe, the volunteers are sent out to help the people on the reservation by building beds, repairing homes. Laura was there for a week and this is her experience. A few weeks ago, my son Stevie Dunn went on a week-long service trip to a place called Remember, located on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. Upon his return, I heard a young man's voice that had been changed forever. Pine Ridge was one of the poorest of all of the reservations in the United States. I wanted what happened to my son to happen to me. Welcome to Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Volunteering with the Remember organization is an emotional and life-changing event. One of the first things we got here, and Ted said to slow down, put your phones down, slow down, and just like, clear your mind. When you arrive, you think you are going to help others, but by the time you leave, you realize that the gift is not only in being able to give back, but being able to evoke a change inside of yourself. Remember now brings in more than 1,200 volunteers to Pine Ridge each year. Located on a 2.5-acre site with five buildings including a fully equipped workshop, kitchen facilities, and the ability to house more than 75 volunteers and staff at a time, Remember is firmly established as a permanent residence on Pine Ridge. It's, it's uh, something we've been working on for quite a while. We're going to start the building phase which of course is going to be done by the people here on the reservation. So Ted, my son, was here two weeks ago. I saw such a difference in him. It, he came here to volunteer. It was almost like you guys are weaving magic out here. There is a little bit of that, and it's connecting not, not only with the earth, but with, with other human beings that inhabit the earth, but connecting with yourself. The first two days of the mission were used to settle into our bunks and then educating us on exactly where we were. Now we're boarding a bus to go to the Badlands. Yes. So I was just wondering, what is that experience all about? That experience is about slowing down. We arrive in the Badlands and we walk out onto this magnificent canyon. It's called the Sanctuary. It's so quiet that you can hear a pin drop. We're gonna go inside. When we pass a certain marker, we're not allowed to speak words. It is there that we would meditate, do a life review, and get ready to do the work that we would be doing on the reservation. Day three, the magic starts. So, Bella Bluebird, it looks like we've got, we're going to Bella's house today to build Bella a porch. Bella Bluebird in Wakbamani. This is where we actually go out and start doing the work. So we built bunk beds one day. We go into the workshop over there and we build the legs, we build the frames, we paint them and everything. And the next day we load them up in the truck and we take it out. And it never really hits you that bed is kind of a luxury. So when you pull up to the house and you see one of the mothers walk out and she sees her child's first bed, it's first bed at maybe yeah, like 12 or 13 mm. years old. The volunteers are split up into groups and then we disperse to different houses. My team went out to the home of Catherine Bluebird where we did skirting on the side of her trailer and we built her a new porch. Um, I appreciate what they do for this community and this reservation because if it wasn't for them, we would have to be doing it on our own. This one house has changed my life forever being able to go out to that trailer and do the work that we did with that group of volunteers was one of the most powerful things that I've ever done in my life. Being out here has just made me so grateful for my life, for the life that I'm living and the ability to go to luxury destinations. But the luxury is out here to be able to see and help these people that so desperately need it. 